morning's scripture is John chapter 5, verses 24 through 30. And Jesus is talking to the, the Pharisees and, and, and the Jewish people about resurrection from the dead. Very truly I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged, but has crossed over from death to life. Very truly I tell you, a time is coming and has now come when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to judge, because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, for a time is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and come out. Those who have done what is good will rise to live, and those who have done what is evil will rise to be condemned. By myself I can do nothing, I judge only as I hear, and my judgment is just, for I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. May the Lord bless this reading from his holy word. Well, Memorial Day weekend, we all have people that we remember. And I always used to go around with my grandmother to all the uh, cemeteries and put flowers on the graves, which, among other reasons being good, I, I now know where people are buried. You know, people even forget where their, where their families are buried. I, I, I know some of that. Um, because of what we did on Memorial Day. This Memorial Day, I was thinking about how Barb and I have, uh, well, we've lost all of our parents in, in the last few years. And actually, we're going through Barb's father's, uh, a lot of the papers and pictures he left behind with, with uh, Barb's sister trying to organize things. Brings up a lot of memories when you do that, and it's hard. And a lot of good memories. You remember the fun things you did and the places you went and the people you used to see and, and the things you used to do. A lot of good memories. Sad memories too because you're not seeing those people and doing those things anymore. And that's really hard. And it crossed my mind also that when you're thinking about memories, you also sometimes are dealing with regret. Maybe you should have said something to people, somebody, when you hadn't had the chance to do it and you never said it. Or maybe you had um, some kind of resentment or, or, or something, some kind of, something in your relationship that wasn't good and, and it never got to be healed. Or, or, or maybe it, it simply just never got a chance to tell somebody how much you really loved them. And memories are hard in that sense because they often carry a sense of regret that things are not finished, that things are not taken care of the way they should have been. Um, sometimes people, especially the way they leave us, uh, some people you know they're, they're leaving uh, sometimes soon and you get a chance maybe to, to tie some loose ends up with it. Sometimes people people leave very unexpectedly and at a time you're not planning. I, uh, I recently learned one of my colleagues, uh, Mike Corwin, uh, he was pastor at a church, the other church in Bucyrus and he had quite a career. He was, he was a real church builder. He had been a police Captain in New Cyrus, he was a he'd been a teacher and had quite a ministry, and he was retiring this year. He was 69, and he was getting ready to finally retire. Although he said he'd be open to taking some more churches too. And and then I, I just learned the other day that, that he had uh, what's called your own Guillaume Barre syndrome, and, and he been released from the hospital and care, and I guess things are looking good, but suddenly he took a turn for the worse and, and died. And, and, wow, sometimes people leave very unexpectedly, and that's hard to deal with. Uh, how do you make 
how do you say how do you say goodbye though, when you don't even know goodbyes are going to be made? The good news for Christians is that yes, in this world we will have memories that we have to live with. People don't stay in this world forever. Nobody does. And sometimes what we have left are memories. They may be very good memories indeed, but they're still memories. And it's not the same thing as having that person to love and care for. But the promise that Jesus gives us that as he died and rose again from the dead and is alive forever as a real living person, that those of us who know him and follow after him will rise too. And, and, and that all the people who believe in the Lord will rise again. And they'll be real people, not ghosts, uh, not, not, not something vague and ethereal and, and not real at all. Real people, just as Jesus is real. And that means that when we look at something like Memorial Day, there's still an element of sadness for us. But there's also hope. And so many people in this world have no hope. They, they can no longer love the people they love. They, they can no longer talk to the people they talk to. They can no longer do things with the people they, they always did things with. They, 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 any problems they had with that person, they don't believe they, those things can ever be patched. Nothing can ever be made right. It can never be whole again. But the promise Jesus gives us is that all those things will be ours. There is sadness now, but in days to come, all will be made right again, because as Jesus lives, they will live, and, and we will live too. Kind of, kind of changes the whole perspective we have. Jesus said, those who lie in their graves will hear the voice of the Son of Man and will live again. All those who believe in the Son of Man will live again, and all will be right. I do think it's interesting, though, to keep in mind. Jesus says, not only will the righteous live again, and the kind of life that Jesus has, but Jesus also gave a warning to those who do not love God and do not want to do what is right. They also will rise again. A lot of times we don't, we don't think about that. But Jesus says, yes, but even the wicked will rise again. They will stand again someday. And they will, they will stand in judgment. If you're one of the bad guys and you think, I can live my merry life in this world and then I leave and I don't have to worry about any consequences. And if I've gone through life stepping on people and, and using them for my own guilty pleasures, and doing this and doing that, and I think that someday I'm going to be scot-free and whether there's any kind of existence afterwards, I don't know, but, but, but I'm off the hook. I won the game. Don't believe it. Everybody will rise again someday. Those who are righteous will rise to glory and, and, and everlasting joy in God's kingdom. But those who don't love God and don't love their neighbor will rise and they're not going to go be going any place good. Just something to keep in mind. Or for all of you, I don't expect there's anything to worry about. Um, we do have sadness now. But someday we'll have joy and nothing will take away that joy. Because death will have no more hold over us or any of God's people. And that's the Lord's good news to you and to me and to all his people. So thank you, Lord, for your gift of life. Death is in this world, and so is loss. But there's a world to come where all those things are done away with. Because you have won the victory. Thank you, Lord, for winning the victory. And you didn't just win it for yourself. You won it for all of us. Praise your name. Amen.